Hey everybody, Tori here, and I'm really excited. It's that time of year again. It's December daily. <laughs> um, I am really excited. This is my fourth year doing December daily, um, and my third year of doing daily videos um, during the month of December, and I'm really excited about it. Um, to be honest, I'm a little behind. The last two years that I did daily videos, I had all of the videos prepared beforehand. This time I was really busy with a craft fair and work and stuff that I haven't really gotten to do that, but I'm still planning on doing a video every day. And it might kill me, but I'm planning on doing it. So I'm excited, and I thought, what better way to start December Daily 2017 than with a video looking back at the years gone by and seeing um, what I created, what I learned, what I loved, what I didn't, what I'm doing differently, what I want to keep, you know, kind of thinking about things like that. So I thought that that would be kind of fun. So I have my December Daily albums from 2014, 2015, and 2016 here, and I'm hoping that this won't be a long video, but let's be honest, it probably will be. Um, I thought what we could do is do just a quick flip through of the albums and talk about what are my favorite things about them um, in this video, and then also kind of talk about things that I learned and things like that. So one of the first things that I know for sure that I love about December Daily is I love decorating the front cover. Um, the camera is not really wide enough to get all of this, but you can see that in my first year I decorated the cover, my second year I decorated the cover, my third year I decorated it, and I love decorating the cover. Um, and so I'm still trying to work out some of the details for what I'm going to do this year, but I love this. I love it. So my first year I used a wood veneer, some doily, and some acrylic pieces. And then my second year I made this epic reindeer um, out of embellishments. And this is probably my favorite cover ever. I just love this. And then my third year I made this cover um, out of gold star sequins that I glued like one's coming off there, but that's okay, um, in the shape of a sequin star. And then I also added texture to the background, which worked out nicely, like in terms of sparkle, but it did, um, I don't know, some. it's not perfect, but that's okay, I still really love it. So let's start with 2014, because that seems like a good place to start as any as in the first, the beginning. Oh, and then another thing I wanted to say is my 2014 album was jam-packed, so full I had to use a ribbon to kind of tie it together. My 2015 album became two albums, and my 2016 album is only one album, but it's still really full. But I think my 2016 one might be my favorite. So I feel like each year I like tweak it a little bit more and I discover just a little bit more of what I love about December Daily. And um, I'm really excited about seeing what happens this year. So the first thing I wanted to say is if you don't know what December Daily is, I'll leave a link below for Allie Edwards' site. She's the one that kind of like originated the idea or called it December Daily. I mean, other people maybe were doc documenting their December, but they didn't call it December Daily. So all the credit goes to the amazing Allie Edwards, and I'll leave a link for her below. And she's been doing it for a number of years. I started three years ago, and this is going to be my fourth year. So my first year, I used a December Daily album, um, and you can see I just added the date there and a little tiny um, felt gingerbread. I decorated the cover, and after I did it, I added this ribbon to kind of help me tie it because it was just so chock full. Um, another thing that I've done in all three of the albums, which I really, really love, was I decorated not only the outside cover, but I also decorated the inside cover. So I just, it just, the first year, the inside just felt really plain to me, so it felt like it needed something, so I did it, and I loved it. And every year since, I've just 
come up with new ways to do that and I just love it. So that first year I painted gold stars and polka dots and kind of freehanded it. The second year I used stamps to stamp little icons travel icons and winter icons and Christmas icons and I did that because I was going to Uganda so there was a lot of traveling that year and then my third year I did something a little bit different on the inside cover I used stencils um, like a silk screen stencil and gold paint and splattered it and all three of these I really really love they're all like a little bit different I think this one might be my favorite just because I love that it has this like floral and it's not perfect it's kind of distressy but I don't know I just love it so anyways I was gonna start with 2014 and then go from there but I think I might have to jump back and forth just because you know that's how I do Anyways, so one of the things I love about this project is that you can go back and you can see what you were doing year after year. You can see about the things that have changed in your life and the things that haven't. And I just find that really fun. Like, for example, this Bible study, um, we had a party in 2014 and there was one, two, three, four, five, six of us. And now there's only three of us and it's it's kind of changed and it's different and this Bible study I'm no longer doing and I don't even have Max the dog anymore I now have Bernie so like things change but I just really enjoy like looking back at the album and seeing all of those things and I think one of the things that I learned in 2014 was that each day didn't need to be a full page. I think I tried to make each day a full page, so like two spreads, but it just got so chock full. And then since then, I've decided to kind of just shrink that. And some days are one on one column. I'll, you'll see in the other albums. One of the things that I did in this album that I really, really loved was adding things outside of the pockets, like envelopes and things. And I didn't do that a lot in this album, but since then I've done that a lot and I just really, really love that. Oh, I also love the see-through pockets and the sparkle and the glitz. And this was one of my favorite pages. And again, another thing that's changed, like here's a photo of my brother and um, cause he was in Stovall where I live and my sister was in Africa, but this year my sister is going to be home and my brother's going to be in England. So just like life changes and that's just like kind of really fun about it. And I included some tags and items outside of the pockets, which was really fun. Favorite Christmas movies, what I was doing at work. Christmas presents I got. That's the year I got my silhouette portrait, which I just love. I still use. Shaker pockets. I don't know. It's just really fun. Oh, and then this is also the year that my cousin got married. So there were a lot of pages for her wedding in here. And like little hand-stitched things and things outside the pocket, which I really enjoyed. And another reason that I just love this project is because of this photo right here. This is a photo of my grandpa who was at my cousin Krista's wedding a couple of years ago, and he just passed away this year. And it's kind of sad to think that, like, we're not going to get to spend Christmas again with San with um, Grandpa. Um, but it's still really special that I have these photos and these memories. Like, I'm so glad that I scrapbooked them. I just love that. And, like, the stories of things, like, I feel like I would forget some of these things. Like, that we had plans to go to a movie, but we got, like our car died <laughs> or like what presents I gave to people the people that I visited the things I did like this year I did a gingerbread house decorating party I would totally forget that if I didn't have this documented like this is really special my grandmother has Alzheimer's and we went around handing out Christmas cards to people and I just such a beautiful memory and she was so precious and I'm really glad that I have that Oh, by the way, one of the things I wanted to say is I do have process videos or walkthroughs of this album and all of the albums in back. So if you want to head over to my channel, there's a playlist called December Daily where you can check out all of that. So while I'm not going into like in a lot of depth here in this video, um, you can check that all out on my channel. 
So another thing that I really learned about December Daily and about my style and what I like to do through this album was that in this album I kind of did any and all colors, anything that made me happy, I threw it in there and I used it. And while I love all the colors, I kind of felt like the album wasn't like cohesive and I wish that the album was more cohesive. So the next year after that, I did a more cohesive color scheme and I'm so glad that I did. Um, so I think I would like to do that again. The other thing that I learned from this album is that I didn't do a lot of journaling and I wish I had done more journaling. So since then I've kind of changed that style about myself to do more journaling. But I really do love this album. Everything about it I just really, really enjoy. Like everything from the family photos to the memories to the products I used. And even though it's like chock full and it's overflowing, it's just such a special album to me. It just makes me so happy. So that was December Daily 2014. And I love this album so much. It's probably not my favorite album that I've ever made, but I love the memories and everything and I'm so glad I did it and it taught me a lot of things for the year after um, when I did it in 2015. So 2015 was the first year that I did a video every single day. So if you want to check out this album and the process videos, there's one for every single layout. And again, that's all over on my um, channel in a playlist called December Daily, you'll be able to find all the videos from 2015. So this was the year that I went to visit Uganda during Christmas time. Um, and so I had way too many photos to fit in one album, so I decided to use two. And like, while I normally wouldn't like having two albums for December Daily, I actually am totally okay with it for 2015 because I went to visit Uganda, so like there's no way that I could have fit all of the photos in one album. So again, I used the um, albums from Ali Edwards, and I included these little felt gingerbread on the bottom, which I just like that. So all my December Daily albums have those. I'm going to have to find some more of those. And then they just have a plate here that says the year. So I'll just do a quick flip through of this and just tell you some of the things that I really love about this album. So in this album, I decided to go with a better color scheme. Like instead of being all over the place, I decided to go more cohesive. So I used traditional Christmas colors, red, green, gold, and silver and white. And then I also threw in pink and I think mint just because, mostly just pink, just because those are my favorite colors. <laughs> So um, I've started all of my albums the same way with a clear acetate um, that peeks through to a picture and I love, I just love the way that that looks. And this cover, like this intro page, might be one of my favorites. I think it is my favorite. I just love the look of this doily and Noel and Merry Christmas on the cover there. And then on the back I've just got some chipboard. And then I've got the dates there, which I really love. Oh, and then another thing to to note is in my 2014 album I only did December 1st to December 25th because I ran out of space but I wish that I had gone to the 31st so this year I did go to the 31st and I believe in 2016 I also went to the 31st which I just feel like the whole month of Christmas is like celebratory to me and I wanted to document it so the whole month of Christmas the whole month of December so I've included a calendar and my reason why. And I love looking back at my reason whys. They are just so meaningful to me. Um, the first year I just did like a four by a three by four card, but since then I've done full pages of journaling and I just love that. And it just means so meaning it's so meaningful to me. And I usually do my reason why focused on my one little word for the next year. So my one little word for 2016 was joy, and that's why the 2015 December Daily album has joy here. But I just love this. Oh, I, I want to read this to you because it's just so meaningful to me. So I started with a, 
a passage of scripture or a Bible verse, which means a lot to me. For you, Lord, have made me glad by your work. At your works of your hand, I will sing for joy. How great are your works, O Lord, your thoughts are very deep. Psalm 92, 4 to 5. And then I say, as I remember the reason for the season, I can't help but be filled with joy. Christmas joy is the kind of happiness that bubbles over and flows into the nooks and crannies of my life. There are so many things going on in this world which can cause me to worry or have fear, but December reminds me to tr be truly joyful. The dictionary defines joy as the emotion of great delight and happiness caused by something exceptionally good and satisfying. It also says that the source or cause of keen pleasure or delight is something or someone greatly valued or appreciated. This kind of joy only really comes from knowing that Christmas isn't all about the glitter or all about the lights. It isn't about the presents or the decorations. It's about Jesus. I love that. And then there are some other things here. And then at the bottom I just said, So I participate in December daily because I want to capture the joy, to capture the fun and remember the excitement and anticipation. I want to remember the traditions and make new memories and to capture the moments before they're gone. And most of all, I want to remember the real reason for it all. Joy is not in things, it's in us. And that deserves to be documented. Oh, I love that. So that's my reason why. And then I've just got a... Just fun details, like this was like a to-do list of things that I hope to accomplish and some embellishments. And you know, the other thing that I kind of like learned in 2015 was like, it's okay to have pages like this that are just pretty and they're there for me and there's no photos, but like it's just all of my favorite embellishments and stuff on a page. Or to have like solid pages where you have a really pretty paper and you just let it be. like merry happy love joy like that just is so pretty and i kind of framed it with this oh i just love that and then um this was december 1st oh and this year i used tags so the year before i included numbers for every day but they all look different well this year i decided to do them all the same and i really love the way that that looks so moving forward i've kept it like that where I do the same number style every single day. So this year I used tags with numbers on them that I had done mixed media to. So they're all different but they're all the same style. I love this. So this is the second and the third. So on this one I have the second here and the third here. So this is the first time where I kind of like gave up on the idea of having like one full day being two pages instead I kind of did what felt right like if a day felt like it needed to have lots of photos if it felt like it didn't that was okay so I have like an envelope that I created here for some happy mail the fourth is here and it's just documented on the back of this card so it's nothing crazy and then um that's the fourth or this is the fifth and the card is tucked in there and then here, this was kind of a fun way to save on space. I have the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th all together. So what you'll see is if you pull the card out or if you flip it over, you can see what happened on that day. So on the 6th, this is what happened, 7th, 8th, 9th. And it was all there, and I added glitter to the side spine. I used my fuse tool to do that. I love the way that that worked out. And this was also from that day. And then I had like a little divider in here. And then the 10th. And I tucked it into a pocket here. Candy cane hot chocolate. Mm. And then the 11th I have on the back of there. So another thing that I did in this album, which I hadn't done in the year before, was I had more like different sizes. And I really enjoyed that. And I also added a few touches of things that peaked over the top. And I love that. Like I, I don't think I've ever done that before where I've had albums with like things peeking out the top or off the side. And I only did it a couple times in this album, but I love it. And you'll see in my 2016 album that I did that a lot because I just love that so much so I've got photos of Skype calls photos of the weather and this is something that I've done every year and I really like including it I take a screenshot of the weather app for where everybody lives so in 2015 I took a picture of us in Toronto and what the weather app was. I took a picture of Kampala because that's where my sister was. And I always like to throw the North Pole in there just because I think it's fun to see that it's minus 28 in the North Pole. 
<laughs> and that I'm glad I'm like in Toronto, not in the North Pole. And then I've got photos of me headed to the airport on December 11th. And then these are photos of me like in the plane on my way to Uganda. And then my first night in Uganda and all the memories. And this is just so fun because like I've never been to Uganda. So I got to document the whole entire trip um, of Uganda from like taxi rides to hanging out with friends to visiting like international schools there and other friends. And then the first album is like the 1st to the 16th. And then um, the 17th to the 31st is in the other album. So, and this one kind of documents more of my trip to Uganda with lots and lots of photos. So I have just a cover page there and I didn't decorate the inside cover of this one. But, I mean, I could. I just felt like it didn't need to be decorated since the other one was. And then I've got photos of visiting the African Children's Choir, presents, um, photos of the sunset in Uganda. And then I got to visit a bunch of my African Children's Choir kids at their homes. So I included a, a selfie that I had taken with each kid and a story of, like, visiting them in their home and, um their families and stuff like that and I just love that and the other thing I love about this like thing that I inserted is that there it's like rep repetition like it's all white pages and each one has the same the story with a little sentiment and then a photo of me with one of the kids and the letter of their name so like Panina, Diana, Nina, Eric. So I kind of just like the consistency of that. I don't know. It just makes me really happy. And then I finished the, that section. Like this is all day 18 with one large photo of some of the kids sitting on the floor at one of the houses. I just love it. Oh, and then the other thing that I really love about this album is all the large photos that I included. Like I love including 6 by 8 photos. Whether they're of kids sitting on the floor, or me drenched in rain, and having a bad day, getting excited to see my little sister, riding on a motorcycle for the first time, and then my sister who lives in Uganda came to visit me in, no, she lives in Kenya, or she lived in Kenya, and she came to visit me in Uganda, and we had Christmas together. And I included a little note about something hard that was going on in my life at that time, but that's okay. Our African Christmas tree with a couple of embellishments. Um, we watched Home Alone, which I watch every year. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies. I included this vellum of, um, from Frozen. Some people are worth melting for. Because I just thought it was so cute. And my sister and I got to watch Frozen together and hang out together. We made cinnamon buns, which were disgusting, but it was like fun to make them. I included like what presents I got and gave, some flip ups. Oh, and I really enjoyed including like flip ups and things like that in this album. So I have fun with that. Skype calls, packaging from present, like paper. This was like a, a, a bag from a store that we went to, so I cut it and I included it, which I really enjoyed. Other fun details. I just love this album. It just makes me so happy to get to see my trip to Uganda and the Skype calls I had and the people I visited and the things I got in Uganda, my favorite memories, the food we ate, the games we played. Like, I just love that this album kind of documents a whole month and you can document all the different things that are going on in your life and things that change and stuff like that. Like in 2014, I was in Canada. This year I was in Uganda. In 2016, I was in Canada again. And like every year it's kind of different, right? And then at the end, on the 31st, I flew back. So I kind of had a little map of my flight from Uganda to Turkey to Canada. And I had a horrible trip, lots of issues. Um, and I included that in here, but it's kind of like funny to look back and see like what happened and then like arriving in Canada and getting my first Starbucks after being away for so many weeks. It was just nice. 
And then this is one thing that I included at the end of my album in 2015, and I loved it. So I also included it in 2016. At the end of my album, I included just a page that said, Goodbye 2015, Hello 2016, which I felt like was the perfect way to end a December Daily album. So I did that again in this in the next album, just because I really like that detail. Because it's like the end of the year, so you're saying goodbye to one year. And hello to the new year and what the new year kind of holds. So I just really love this project and I love what it documents. And the photos are so fun. Okay. And then this is the album that I did last year. And like I said, it's probably my favorite one. Well, I'm not crazy about the cover because everything didn't work out perfectly the way I wanted it to. Um, they... The glitter that I did on the background kind of chipped a little bit, and so then I had to put down washi, but the washi isn't holding. And the hardware kind of rusted through. Um, it's just not perfect, but I still love everything that's on the inside, so I'm just forgiving myself for what's on the outside. So, this year, Instead of going with traditional Christmas colors, I decided to focus more on Christmas colors. This just popped off. I decided to focus more on Christmas colors that make me happy. Um, and by that, I mean Christmas colors like pinks and reds and mint and gold and black and white. And instead of using a lot of green which I'm not crazy about I didn't use a lot of green I used it a little bit because you can't really avoid green at Christmas I think um, but I just love the way this album worked out so in the front cover I've got this stenciling I did with gold paint and a silk screen and then I splattered with black and white and I started with a piece of acetate again and a doily which I just love the way that that looks as you flip through, you see a calendar. And this year, I included some of the details on the calendar, which was kind of fun. Um, I'm not sure if I'll include a calendar this year. To be honest, like it kind of feels like wasted space because I'm not actually including any of the details. But maybe if I find a really cute calendar, I might include it this year and just write in a little bit every day of what we did. And then I included my reason why. And so then this year, um, my one little word for the next year was going to be grace. So I decided to make my one little word um, and my reason why for December Daily 2016 all about grace. Oh, and I love this. I just love what I wrote. So um, I'm not going to read it, but if you want to know what it says, I do have this page on my blog um, as well as I have process videos for every single one of these layouts so you can head over to my YouTube channel to check out the playlist for 2016 December daily oh and I used full shaker pockets again which I just love with glitter in them like which I just love and then these are some pages I had done for Wild Whisper and a little bit more like quotes about grace and I just felt a lot like one of the things I hadn't done in previous years, but I wanted to try to do in 2016, was I had my reason why and my one little word that I was focusing on. But once I had kind of written my one little word and reason why at the beginning of my album, I never really mentioned again. I never talked about it. It didn't really like play a role in my December. And this year I really wanted it to. So I added it quotes and I talk about grace throughout the rest of my album, which I really like because it kind of brings it all together. So I think I'll definitely do that again this year. And the other thing I really love about this album is all the black and white and gold and mint and pink that I use. Like it just makes me so happy. So this year I'm hoping to also go with that similar color um, theme just because I love the style of it. I also love all the flip pockets and pages that I have outside of the page protectors and all the goodies that I have clipped at the top of the album and on the sides. Like 
I don't have any on the sides, but this up here just makes me so happy. Like all the clips and ribbons and buttons and ugh, I would totally want to do that again this year. So I've got all that documented. I also included some like recipes and things, which is really fun. And I was a little more loose about what day needed to be documented where to, which was kind of fun. And this is kind of fun. I included some bells up here. So when you turn the page, it kind of like jingles. I don't know. It just makes me happy. And then day five was in this pocket, which I just love the pockets. I use them over and over and over throughout this year. Um, so I've just got the things in here so you can pull them out. Day six. I taught a class at my local scrapbook store on mixed media tags, so I've got some tags here and some photos and stuff. Then I've got a little divider with some vellum. I had a top secret envelope here, and last year when I made this, I wasn't able to tell people what was in here because it was top secret, but it's no longer top secret. Um, this is the day that I... Um, found out that um, this is so much fun. I included so much journaling here, which I just really love. But this is the day that I found out that I had been accepted to the Wild Whisper design team. And I was just so excited about it because I had always wanted to be on a design team and I had never been on one. And Wild Whisper was the first design team that I got on. Since then, I've been on other ones, but it was just really special for my first one. So I included that and made a little pocket that said Top Secret, which I just love. Then I included another vellum piece. I love all the vellum and see-through pockets and different sizes I included in this album. I think that's why this album is my favorite. And then for um, day eight, I wanted to scrapbook about Starbucks because I actually really love Starbucks. So I included this little coffee cozy um, with some journaling. And then last year they had all the different um, coffee cups that had different designs on them. So I cut a little piece out of all the different cups and included them in the page protector there, which I actually really love the way that turned out. On the back was another day, that was day nine, another vellum piece some journaling. This page I really like too. This was, I went to a Teen Challenge concert. Um, Teen Challenge is a organization that helps um, people who are addicted to drugs and alcohol. Um, and they had a concert where they were singing and sharing stories. So what I did was I took a page protector and I cut it open so I could slide the service um, into the page protector and then I just um, used my fuse tool to fuse up the top side and added some sequins. So I love that you can kind of see inside the thing there. I don't know, I just really love that style. Oh and then I also love how day 11 worked out. So this day I had an acetate that said the most wonderful year time of year and then I had a giant tag here and I added a big photo and some journaling. On the flip side, um, I made that tag into kind of like a little booklet. My friend and I went for sushi, so I documented that there. Day 13. Day 14, my sister got engaged, so I was able to document that in this album. And again, this is like another reason why I love December Daylight, because now she's married and my brother just got engaged. So I kind of feel like it's fun to see like how things change throughout the year. And then another acetate here with a doily on either side, and I added some journaling like right on the doily, which was really fun. And then I showed you in the last album how I included the weather app screenshots. Well, I included that again in this one, but it's a little different, which again, I just love the way that this turned out. I included a screenshot of Winnipeg, Nairobi, Whitchurch, Stouffville, which is where I leave, live in Leeds, because Winnipeg is where Andrew, my sister's um, husband lived. Nairobi is where my sister lived. 
this is where I lived and this is where my brother lives. So there was a screenshot of all of our different weather, which I just thought was kind of like a really fun thing and it shows that we're all in different places, um, but that we're all kind of connected too. And then there's little tuck spots, some photos of Bernie, little um, envelope here, which I just love with some photos in it and a journaling card on the back. And then here I added a little like bag that I kind of clipped in and inside you can find like a set of photos and journaling cards all tied together. So this year I definitely added more journaling than I did in previous years and I'm so glad because I love the journaling. I'm gonna try really hard this year to add more journaling too. So a little card I got from Jamberry with a tag that pulls out and either side has some details on it. Um, the 22nd, just a plain page. The 24th, again, a big quote and then a photo with lots of journaling. Christmas Day um, photos. And then this is a fun detail I included. I want to try to include this again this year. It's um, like stamps that came on all the like Christmas cards and stuff that we got. And I just kind of stuck them on some red paper, which I just really love. And then the back side. So here I had the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30th, and 31st all on one page. So I kind of like how that was a great way to just wrap up the album. I got to include the 26th to the 31st with a photo and a little journaling of what we did that day. Um, it didn't take up a lot of space, but I really like that they still got to be included because... To me, December Daily needs to include, like, December. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, and I like that. I like that there's photos and little ideas. And then I finished off the album in the same way that I finished off the year before with Goodbye 2016, Hello 2017. And this year I used this divided page protector with little circles I had punched out and letters. And actually it worked out well because be goodbye 2016 and hello 2017 um, worked out perfectly. I had to add a like a little asterisk here and a couple stars and stuff here. But I don't know. It, I just think it's really cute. Like it's a fun detail to include at the back and it kind of wraps up the album. So that is my 2016 album and I love it. Um, it's definitely my favorite of all three of them and it makes me excited for what I can do this year because I can see like what I enjoyed, what I didn't enjoy, what I want to include this year and um, I'm really excited to see what this year has in store and I hope that you guys are excited too. So I'm going to be doing a video every day during the month of December again, and I hope that you guys will join me. So if you haven't yet, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you're notified when I've posted a new video. Um, and make sure you check back every day for another video because I've got lots of things up my sleeves I can't wait to share with you. And I hope that you guys enjoyed checking out my albums from the past three years and I would love to know in the comments which of the albums was your favorite and how many years have you done December Daily or is this your first year? So leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments and I will talk to you soon.